today we're going to be talking about the plethora of features with Zsite. So after you've installed Zsite, created an account, and logged in, you'll be taken to your device list. And here you can see all the devices I have added. And we're going to be using this smart camera today, and we've named him Clyde. So I clicked on his video feed, and now you can see exactly what he's seen. So in our live video feed, there's also several options at the bottom of the screen. So the one on the far right, you can change the quality of the video. Here I'm going to change it to HD because this camera records in 720p. And now you can see it live view HD. The button on the far left, which looks like a video camera, allows you to record what the camera is seeing and it will save it to the Z-Site gallery. The button right next to that is a camera and when you click that, it will take a snapshot of the live video. Because Clyde here is a smart camera with two-way audio, there are these two buttons listed at the bottom and they look like a microphone and a speaker. So if you click the speaker, you'll be able to hear what Clyde is hearing right now. And if you click on the microphone, you can hold the talk and your voice will be transmitted through the speaker on the camera. Let's try it out. Hi Clyde. Did you hear that? In the live video feed, you can also view playback by clicking the button at the top of the screen. And we've had this camera set up since last night, so it's been recording on its micro SD card. And here you can see playback of what it recorded yesterday and at night. Our playback feature for Z-Site is currently only available on the Android phones, but our iOS developers are working really hard to get it up and running on the iPad and iPhone shortly. In the top right hand of the screen, you can click this gear icon to take you to the device settings. And here you can see the device name and change that. And you can also share your device with your friends and family and their Z-Site accounts. And you can configure the Wi-Fi settings of the device and set push alerts to be on or off. And push alerts will alert you when there's motion detected on the device. In the device settings page, you can also update your device and here we can see that Clyde is already on the latest version of his firmware. Going back to the device list, you'll notice there are three buttons on the bottom of the screen. So the left button takes you to the device list. The middle button takes you to the Z-Site gallery where you can view clips and snapshots of things you've captured. The right button takes you to the general settings. Here you can see the help menu and account management where you can log out and then log into a different Z-Site account. Thanks for watching and please like our Facebook to stay updated with the latest news and product information. Thank you, Clyde.